You know, it's true. Apple has been underperforming its fellow Fang brethren in the last couple of months. You know, it's barely budged two months. It's up a little more than 1%. Let's not quibble since early May. But Google and Amazon have been up 7 or 8% in that time period. Facebook's been up 12%. And Netflix, well, forget Netflix. It's been blowing the doors off of everything. It's up 27% in two months. But don't feel too sorry for Apple. And don't think there's something really wrong here. Apple's earnings are still growing big time. Now, look at this. Third quarter earnings ending in June will be up about 30% year over year. That is pretty amazing for such a mature company. But Netflix earnings for this quarter, I'm not, this is not a typo. This is their fiscal second quarter. It's just off the charts. They're going to be up more than 400% from 15 cents last year to about 80 cents this quarter. Now, that's why you're getting these phenomenal price moves in a Netflix. You're also seeing phenomenal earnings growth, by the way, in Amazon. Earnings may be up more than 170%. In 2018, over 2017, it's also the reason it's up so strongly this year. And Apple is not really lagging the tech sector. In fact, in a sense, Apple is the tech sector this year. It's up 12% in 2018, performing pretty much in line with the overall S&P 500 technology sector, up 13% this year. The bottom line is this. Apple is still a revenue and sales monster, but you have a few fellow FANG members really blowing the doors off the top and the bottom lines. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.